Hello! Hi guys, welcome to uh, One Man's Junk. Thought I would just go ahead and show you some of my favorite pickups uh, from this last week here. So, again, you know, it's Christmas period, not an awful lot going on, but. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Why don't we uh, start off with uh, some vintage Star Wars? Nothing crazy, but we did make a new contact. Um, it's a gentleman who sells all kinds of um, goods, shall we say, as well as vintage toys. And uh, I managed to pick up these three guys, so I was very happy with that. So these are not bad. These will be coming along to the next uh, toy show. So if you're coming along to Wayne Toy Show, um, first Sunday every month in New Jersey, then I will see you there, as will the Royals uh, Emperor Guard and Logri, Medicine Man. So now these are kind of cool, I'm going to show you this. Um, this is uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, I believe it's the, um, it's not Metal Mutant, Cyber, I'll, I'll have the name for you when we post this up in the series. It's one of my favorite Ninja Turtle series. It came with a little guy here. It just obviously reminds me a lot of the Power Loader from Aliens, you know, when uh, Ripley fights the uh, Queen Alien. So I always thought this was a cool little set. It's got the little handles here, so, you know, with the, the figures. Um, interesting little fact here, the figure, the little figure that comes with it, uh, it's always missing. Uh, very hard to find, but I'll show you, I'll, sh I'll show you a picture in a second. Um, but. Uh, those little figures, they actually use the exact same mold for a dollar store release. So if you have these but you're missing the pilot, then um, once I have that picture, I'll show you the pilot. It's actually identical, it's the same mold, except of course it's that 2001 as opposed to 96. That's cool, but I also found this. Now this is a, a newer one, I believe uh, 2001, 2003. Uh, but I'm going to pair them together. I think they look, both look really great. And um, from what I can see here, I believe the pilots are exact, like the same size too. So as long as I have uh, those dollar store pilots um, that I mentioned, I'm going to put them in. Right? Here we got some Joes. So I did manage to find some Joes. So if you know me, I don't discriminate. So I've got some 30th anniversary GI Joes right here. Don't know much about them in that I'm not sure if these are just regular carded figures. I have a feeling that these two were part of a set though. Um, who knows, you know, with that 25th anniversary G.I. Joe. These guys are vintage, of course. Vintage from the 90s. And this is a red herring here. That is not G.I. Joe at all. That is in fact Avatar. Yep. And I could be mistaken. Yeah, there's no marking. So no, there is. Right here, Fox, 2006. So this is actually Avatar. Um, second time I found this figure, it took me a whole year to identify him because I just thought he was G.I. Joe. So I just threw him in the G.I. Joe part. Um, ooh, how about these? If you don't know Loot Crate, Loot Crate is basically, um, it's a subscription service. You know, you pay a monthly fee. I believe you sign up for a year, what have you. And they send you out all kinds of cool things, you know, like related to things that we collect that we're talking about here, pop culture. So I picked these up because the price was right. Um, I don't know much about them, I just know that that's a Joker made out of wood. It's really cool. And this is really cool too. Here we go. In case you want to be mistaken for somebody with far-right sympathies, you can wear one of these. This is, what's it called? Shadaloo logo. That, of course, those who know, M. Bison, has it right here hat. So that was a cool, that was a cool little pickup. So that was Loot Crate. Yeah, Loot Crate's great. I mean, Loot Crate's done some good stuff. I'm pretty sure this is Loot Crate too. You know, like they get like your favorite characters and they just kind of like, you know, they think of things outside the box that you can make it interesting. But yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Let's see, how about this? I think I found somebody's Ghostbusters collection because I found this guy. And this one. And this one. So, <clears throat> these are really cool. They are the cartoon style. Um, but they are, of course, re-releases. Um, so they're really not that old at all. Usually they're out the box. I found a Slimer. I believe that's from the uh, NECA Ghostbusters. 
Um, and like I said, I think I found somebody's collection because I even found a Playmobil Ghostbuster. And if that doesn't still doesn't float your boat, well then how about even some original Kenner Ghostbusters? And if you're still not satisfied, then nothing will, I think, after that. <laughs> but that was a great Ghostbusters find. Very happy with that. Someone's collection, like I said, I believe. And uh, let's fire out some random, random, usual nonsense. Here's a pretty cool Joker. I'm not sure from what series. Possibly DC Direct. We have a Trend Masters Battlestar Galactica uh, Cylon. We have a Biker Mice from Mars. Bendy, we love our 90s. Uh, ooh, what about a uh, DC Direct Clayface? Really cool figure. Um, and of course, I believe that's the Batman animated series. And that would be the Clayface from, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, oh, here's a good one for you guys. So just so you know, that, even though it says Tommy on it, is actually a Disney character. I thought maybe Mega Man or some game or something, but it's actually from Zootopia. So that's who that is. Here's a nice little find. Disney. Wally. Three inch action figure with um, articulated arms. And hit. Nice. This is a funny one. So this is Matchbox, um, big boots. So what they do is they rock like so. I think I had smaller ones out. Anyway, funny thing about this is this is the Yeti here. He's not incredibly rare, but I found two of them in one day. So there's one. So I figured I would show you guys and tell you what line that belongs to. Small soldiers. As I said, nothing crazy yet. What about these guys? These are some of my favorite finds. Here we go. So this is definitely firmly in the find of the day, find of the week category. Um, these are in fact uh, Mutu classics. You may not recognize these ones here. This is because these actually came in an ex uh, exclusive uh, two pack uh, with uh, DC Universe figures. So uh, Skeletor came with Lex Luthor and I believe He-Man came with Superman. And I actually have one, which I've been saving for a while. And I actually already have a merman. So we've got a nice little set of those little classics there. We've got one bag of random stuff here. Nothing that I really would feel I have to show you except a knockoff of Alien Kenner right here. And Remco, Robot Defender, and Renegade. Missing the sword, but still, you know how we love Remco. All right, guys, so for one of my favorite, time for one of my favorite sections. Let's clear a little bit of room here, and I'm gonna give you guys some education or some knowledge, or if you know already, well, I guess it's probably your least favorite part, but I'm gonna identify some accessories. So let's start off with something nice and easy. This one here, nothing crazy. Um, actually, I thought it was something else. Mm, all right. Well, this helmet here, um, I was under the impression it belonged to uh, Disney um, Pocahontas. I thought it was Disney Pocahontas, 12-inch figure, but it may not be. It might be from a GI Joe. Never mind that. But these are pretty cool. Here we go. Um, and these belong to actually this line here, Mighty Ducks, um, but not necessarily this figure. I'm not sure which figure these belong to. I'll look this up. I know this belongs to the um, the dragon, the red dragon, the bad guy from Mighty Ducks. So we'll be looking that up. Exo Squad, pro possibly, probably the most common Exo Squad missile that you'll find. Um, but it's fairly easy to spot. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got a nice color. And these here I have not been able to identify as yet. My guess currently is Gargoyles, um, and it's the uh, the figure, oh my gosh, 
can't remember his name right now, but it's the figure that he transforms into a gargoyle. And then we got this small soldier's accessory. That's the uh, Gargonites. That's um, a little dagger for Archer. So that's a nice little find. You know how we love our accessories. And then the rest, I'm afraid we didn't do too well for accessories for the rest of the week. The, the rest here is mostly minifigures, you know, like Gormiti, which would be like the modern equivalent of the Battle Beasts here. We got a few uh, Star Wars ones here, which I had mentioned. And I got an absolute barrage of these little guys here. Oops. Oh, that's, uh, it looks like a mixture. That's a mixture. But I did get a ton of these. These are homies. Um, homies, uh, for those who don't live in the US, uh, they were very popular here, like, you know, gumball machines, uh, vending machines. And you go and put in a quarter or 25 cents, or just, you know, local denomination. And you'll get, like, these little guys here. They're very popular with the Latino community here in America. Um, I mean, they're called homies. Um, I think it's because a lot of the characters are based off, you know, like, kind of characters you find within the Latino community. You know, like, so those are very popular, and those are really cool. I bought a bunch of those, but let me show you my finds of the week. We've got some really, really exciting stuff. Stuff that I have never seen or nor held before. Pause. Finds of the week. Okay, so guys, these are my favorite finds. So let's start off with uh, classic. Everybody knows how much I love my Z-Box. Boom. We've got a nice big bag of Z-Bots here. Um, I can't remember, I haven't even looked at these. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I needed a few of them, but the reason I got it was, of course, so you get a cool tank. So I definitely didn't have the tank. And I had this, too. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but um, within the Z-Bots line, there was actually combiner ones, almost like Transformers. So you could actually combine individual figures. Not all of them, but there were special packs like that. Pack. So that was a great little Z-Bot pickup here. Uh, what about Fluffy from Bionic 6? He's great. Love him. All in one piece. All there. Bionic 6, one of the most popular characters. Um, there we go. We love this always. Toxic Crusaders. Anytime we find a Toxic Crusader figure, that is a win. We love Toxic Crusaders. Very popular. Ha 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 ha, no ways. That's right, we have a sorceress. Yeah, of course, no staff before you ask. But a nice little find, decent price. Steve Irwin, again, action figure. I think this is the Animal Planet one. Here's a nice little find. So. Go. Looks like nothing crazy, but I know because I needed it. These are actually um, really important parts. These are for uh, vintage Kenner Star Wars uh, Hoth battle scene. So this is to keep the paper um, in place, the cardboard background in place, and you've got you know the, the plastic at the front. So we'll show you a picture of that in a second, right here. And then, oh, this is really nice. Transformers, a headmaster with a headmaster dude in it. So I don't know if you've ever seen these, the cameraman. Um, but these were a really cool line uh, back in the 80s, of course, as uh, Transformers. What it is is basically you get two figures, there's a gun or a missile as well. And this becomes the head when it, once it transforms. Please make sure you film me break it. There it is. Like so. Go like that. And he goes. Oh, wrong side. There you go. Like so. So you see, it's pretty cool. And then he, of course, transforms into a little dude. But that's the wrong one. That's for a different uh, headmaster. But eh. Good pickup. You never find them. One of my favorite pickups. Don't go too crazy. Godzilla, but not just any Godzilla. Look at the colors on these guys. You got Mecha Godzilla here. Wow, look at that one. 
nuts. What about that? Now the colors are so crazy, I genuinely thought that these were KOs, but they are actually marked. So they are not, but these the colors are so great and so vibrant. Look at that, really cool. These are one of my favorite finds, if not of the week, maybe of the month. Um, great little Godzilla set, and like I said, with these colors, you don't really see that, that often, this color plan. So that's great, we love that. But I think everybody's ready for the pickup, my favorite pickup, which is these. G1 Transformers, Monster Cons, Combiners, an almost complete set. Unfortunately, a little bit short, but it did have a little accessory that comes with it. There it is. So that was definitely, that was my favorite find. These are really great. Um, so basically, these are like the, uh, the um, like the Pretenders series, basically, where the shell would crack open. Um, so they did it like that, and they all form together to make one big bot, robot. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I am missing one of these guys and two of these guys, unfortunately, to make it. But hey, it was a great little pickup. They're in good condition here, as you can see. These ones do have the, the little dude in them. They even have this little accessory as well. So, you don't see them very often. Monster cons. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep them or not. We we shall see. We shall see. Ask me at the next toy show. We'll see if you have them still or not. But uh, guys, thanks for joining me for another episode. If you have any questions, please feel free and make sure you follow me here on Instagram. 